place it against there. It's kind of funny, look how it's detected my bone in there. Welcome back to the shop, you stud finding studs. Today we're gonna to talk about the easiest, most accurate, just quickest way to find the frickin' studs in your walls. Hang that TV, hang that bookshelf, and just get it done and quit blowing holes in the walls and getting false readings and all that stuff. So today, we've got two different types of stud finders on the table here. We've got the scanning type, where you push a button and it'll light up one side of the stud. You push it again, you go to the other side, it lights up that side. And these are in the $15 to $30 range. Over here, we've got the total stud finder where you push the button and come across an object and it shows you everything in there. So, and these are in the uh, $50 to $60 range. So let's try them both out. And at the end, I'll give you links in the description to exactly what you need to buy to just get the job done and never be frustrated again. Let's go test them out and I'll show you how they work. Okay, so I picked a section of wall in the shop here for testing. There's a uh, seam right here. So we know that this part of the wall is a little thicker. The mud is thicker, right where the seam is. And uh, that's gonna represent some irreg irregularities in your wall at home and stuff. So no wall is perfect. You're gonna have some thick spots, some patches, different things. And it's important that your stud finder can deal with that sort of thing. And then we'll do our testing up here too against a you know relatively perfect surface, see how they do. And on top of that, we have a stud here that we can see. So we have a known quantity to kind of test against. So first we'll start our testing with the Zircon. And before you start any kind of testing, uh, you wanna use it against a, a known stud, just to make sure it's working. So we're gonna come right over here, and we see that it's working perfectly. So we'll begin our testing. First thing we'll do is we'll start on the perfect spot. So with this, uh, these scanner type sensors, what you wanna do is put them against the wall first, then hold down the button so they can calibrate. If you come out here, and push it and then go against the wall, it thinks that everything's a stud. So again, put it against the wall, push the button, and we're just gonna go to the left here. And it says the edge of the stud's right there. And we know that that's true. So that's working fine. Now let's go the other way. Okay, there's our edge. We'll just mark that. Make sure we got it just right. So we're now we just got an error, so we're gonna come back this way. Okay, there's the other side. And we'll put a Z next to this so we know this was the Zircon. Now let's try it on the little bit thicker part down here. Oh, we just got an error. Hear that? So let's try it again from this side. Okay, we're getting a reading here. Restart it, come back this way. Oh, got an error. Okay, so we're getting a mark here. Okay, so we'll put uh, Z here too. Just for fun, let's scan along this way. We know there's no studs in between here, but let's scan along and see if it tries to pick up this as a stud, this thicker spot. It does. So there's a false positive. So according to this, there's a stud here and there isn't. It's just a thicker part of the wall. Let's see if that trips up our other type of stud finder. Okay, now let's check our precision sensors stud finder. First thing we're gonna do is use it against a known stud. So we're gonna come right over here, place it against there. It's kind of funny, look how it's detected my bone in there. So anyways, we'll wipe the sweat off and we'll use it on the wall to find the lesser studs. So come along here, we've got it turned on. And there it is, lit up this stud that we know is there. So let's come over this way. And it's given us the exact same marks. I don't know if you guys can see that very well, but here's the exact same marks as the Zircon. So we'll come from the other way. Yeah, so same area. I'm not even gonna have to mark it. I can just put a P next to this, same result. Let me show you something else. You can push the button on this one, put it against the wall. There's the stud. 
It's not that finicky. Okay, now well, let's come down here to our thicker stuff and see if it can find the stud buried in our thicker stuff, which is about right here. All right, so it's showing us these three lines, showing right here and right here. And here's our P. We'll try it like this. There it is again. Now let's do that other test where we came across from the top and see if it picks this up as a stud. It also picks that up as a stud. Okay, so it's just gonna pick up that thicker stuff as a stud. So what you're gonna have to do is be wary when you come across, you know, a giant wide stud that kind of sporadically lights up the rest of it, you're gonna have to know that that's your drywall seam. Okay, let's grab some nails and see if we indeed found the studs. Let's check this one first. Solid stud, both of them were right. Over here, let's check this further range of, this, of the uh, Zircon, see if it was getting false readings. So that was a false reading. Now let's check the center range of both of them. Solid stud, and we'll go ahead and put one in here with the, uh, right in the middle of where the Zircon said it would be. So we did catch stud. Okay, so if you look at these two nails and these two marks, we can tell that the real stud was better outlined by the uh, precision sensors. It runs right along here like that. It's easy to check anywhere along the way. There it is. There it is. There it is. I mean, whenever there's the stud, the thickness doesn't bother this one because it sees the even thicker part of the stud and it knows it can ignore that slightly thicker mud. All right, let's talk conclusions real quick. Now this is 15, 20 bucks, you know, but if you can spend the extra money, just, just get rid of it, buy this. This is why I strongly recommend buying the Precision Sensors or the Franklin. It's made under several names. I'll leave links in the description. Grab one of these, boom, stud, boom, stud. Over here, boom, stud, boom, stud. Boom, stud, boom, stud, boom, stud. You don't have to read any instructions or anything. Just push the button, go along the wall, bam, stud right there. If the stud is wider, more LEDs will light up. The thing just works. It's way less finicky. And let me tell you something else. If you have texture on your wall, as this thing moves along, it's gonna snag along and uh, it's, gonna, it's gonna start throwing off airs and false readings and all kinds of problems. Let's come back the other way. Oh, it just had an air. Did you hear it beeping? Okay, it says there's something here. And apparently the stud just goes on forever. Oh, we just got an air. Restart it, come back this way. Oh, got an air. So we're, now we just got an air. It, it's the scanner type ones. And whatever you do guys, for the love of God, don't buy one that connects to your phone. You don't need these to connect to your phone. Here's what happens with smart tools. Inevitably, the company stops supporting it. Three years later, four years later, whatever. They stop supporting it, the app breaks, and now you have a piece of tech trash. It can't work by itself. I've done that with the little OBD sensors and stuff. Don't do it. Just, just buy the standalone thing. Studs aren't getting firmware updates. This doesn't need it either. All right, you guys, links in the description. If you found this useful, like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys next time.